Whether you're working on mobility or strength training or maybe you're a runner and you want to increase your performance, you want faster times, stronger hips is the way to go for sure. So, and super easy to work at home without the gym and basically without any weights, but um, you'll eventually want to pick up some weights if you don't already have some dumbbells at home. So the two moves that you're gonna want to do, and you can alternate them, is the glute bridge and the hip thrust. The glute bridge we do on the floor, um, basically not any weights involved, mainly because it's awkward. You're on the floor, you've got your hips up and weights would kind of slide around and cause a problem anyways. But also that's an activation move. So it's a good one to do when you're warming up uh, to go running. Uh, just, you know, lay right down in the grass and press those hips up in the air, squeeze the glutes and do that a few times and you're good to go. You've uh, activated your glutes, right? The hip thrust, is one that you wanna do on a bench or a chair. Or if you're like me, this cushy stool, cause it's super soft and I like him. So um, the hip thrust though, is the one that you can add weights to. And that's where you're gonna build your strength. So um, first I'll show you the glute bridge and then I'll show you the hip thrust. And then I'll give you a little plan Tiana and Kathy on how you're gonna go about this. So first thing is let's do the, let's see if I can get farther away here, awesome. Glute bridge, right, is laying down on the floor. You've got your knees bent, your feet are on the floor. Sorry, you can't see mine. Your arms are down at your sides. Let's, maybe I can scooch back here, yes! Perfect, I'm off the mat, but it's all good. You can see me now. Fingertips touch your heels. So you've got, that's where you've got your range of motion here. If you can touch your fingers to your heels, way better. You've got some room to press your hips up. So you're just gonna do a big inhale. Exhale, you're gonna press your hips up and you're aiming for a straight line. Your weight's on your heels, right? You're not pushing down toward your toes. Your weight's on your heels. You're aiming for a straight line from your knees through your hips, up to your shoulders. And then you're just squeezing those glutes at the top. And you know, hang out. So I don't know, minimum three to five seconds on each rep, and then come down and then press it back up. Hold for three to five seconds. You wanna do that 10 times minimum, like starting out 10 times, holding, squeezing, coming down, and then you're gonna do your stretch where you pull your knees into your chest, hug your shins, bring your forehead up towards your knees, flex your ankles, and everything's stretched. So starting out, glute bridges, three sets of 10. We're not adding any weights. We're keeping it simple and getting that squeeze. Um, grab a chair, so a wooden chair that doesn't move. No casters, no rocking. A wooden chair is great. I would put a towel right across the seat edge so that you're, you know, you're cushed. You got your, you're gonna put your shoulders up on the edge of this. So if you don't have a chair that doesn't move, then maybe you have a coffee table or maybe you have a fireplace uh, hearth or whatever, uh, the edge of your couch. I don't care what it is. Just make it, you know, 14 to 18 inches up off the floor, seat height, 20 inches, whatever. And uh, you're good to go. So, and also you want legs that aren't going to move. So once you get up here, you don't want that thing sliding around. So that's why I love this stool full of stuff that uh, isn't gonna go anywhere. And it's cushy. And I walk past it like, now when I'm staying at home, I walk past it like 10 times a day and I can't not stop and do something on it. So that's a good thing. Convenience, right? So for the setup, we're going to come up here, your, <clears throat> get your shoulders, like your shoulder blades resting on the edge of the chair, okay? The goal here is straight line, 
from our knees through our hips up to our shoulders. And your weight's on your heels and the leg action is a 90 degree bend in the knee. And you don't wanna pull your heels back and have this crunched up leg. You wanna have that 90 degree bend. And then you've got room down here for your range of motion. I'm gonna show you without weights first. So um, this is gonna be a little stressful for your neck, by the way, if you're not into this, doing this daily thing. And uh, that can add up a little bit. So at first, just rest your head on the chair seat. It's all good. And then the motion is, same thing as the glute bridge on the floor. You're coming down, you're squeezing up. You don't need to go beyond the 90, you're just going for the straight line and you're squeezing those glutes underneath and holding, you know, three to five seconds again, just like the glute bridge down on the floor. And you're just squeezing and then you're coming back down. Then you're coming up so it's like a, you know, tense release, tense release. Adding the weights, I just got these little buggers here, little dumbbells, put them in your hip crease crease here. So your hip crease is where your leg attaches to your hip, bends. <clears throat> You're just going to rest those weights in the crease. Hold your hands there, okay? And now it's just coming, same thing, same motion. Down, pressing up and squeezing. Counting to three, four, five, down. Release. Pushing up. Three, four, five, down. So you're doing that, <clears throat> hip thrust, 10 times, three sets. So three sets of 10. Okay, so today is April 27th. We have three more solid weeks of stay at home order in Michigan. And we're gonna make the best of it. We're gonna do uh, glute bridges and hip thrusts for the next three weeks. And when this is done on May 15th, we're gonna have rock and booties. So the plan, start out with your glute bridges. If you've never done this before, you're on the floor, you're doing three sets of 10 every other day. No excuse, you're at home. What else are you gonna do besides? You can do it while you're watching Netflix. I don't care. Then, Let's say you do that for a week and it's no longer challenging. Then you move up into the hip thrusts and that's where you're gonna build your booty. So you're building the muscle. You're putting your shoulders on the edge of your chair or your fireplace hearth or your couch and you're squeezing, you're getting a really great range of motion and start out with no weights. Three sets of 10 every other day and then once that's no longer challenging, add the weights. And that's in your hip crease. You're still keeping that range of motion. You're still getting that squeeze up there for five seconds, letting it go. And uh, three sets of 10 every other day. Super simple, you can do it. My hair's falling down, oh, I like it. So uh, that's the plan, Tiana and Kathy. And whoever else wants to join into this whole little booty challenge thing, it's not even a challenge. It's like, let's just do this. Let's just get this done. We've got the time, right? Let's just do this. All right, cool. I'm done. And I think I'm going to do a few more of these. I've got some friends that want some specific things. So um, drop your suggestions in the comments and don't forget to hit subscribe. My YouTube, YouTube channel's new. So um, yeah. Show me some love, man. Show me some love. Hit that subscribe button and then uh, slide down in the comments and say, uh, yeah, I would like to work on my whatever it is. Let me know and I'll help you out or I'll, I'll at least try to. <laughs>